Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. The Perdigon Gasolina is probably the most famous of all Perdigons and it can be quite productive. The main time will be between 14 and 20 with the corresponding bead size and nearly always in copper. It can be fished on the point or as a dropper. It can be fished underneath a dry fly as a duo nymph and it can be fished in mountain streams for wild brownies and in larger rivers for stocked brownies and rainbows. It can be very productive and it's one of those must-have flies in every fly box. It certainly is in Spain. Of course Perdigons didn't actually start off life in Spain although they're synonymous with Spanish fly fishing. They started off in the Pyrenees of uh, France where the anglers wanted to get their nymphs down pretty quick and they started uh, putting lead underneath the dressing. They came across to northern Spain uh, to the Asturias region to fish for trout and sea trout and uh, the local anglers spotted the speed of these flies getting down to the fish and they decided to adapt it and make something of their own. They got some brass beads which were readily available in DIYs and haberdashers, loaded on the lead behind it along the shank, then went off to the Chinese supermarket and bought a load of nail varnishes in all different colours and styles and types and painted up the whole thing, generally in two colours, sometimes in one, and they went down like a stone. They became very, very popular locally and were known as chinas, which in Spanish, of course, means Chinese or from China. The chino was then spotted again by the anglers in the Basque region and exclaimed the word perdigon. Now, a perdigon means a pellet or a small ball or indeed a shot from a cartridge. Having coined the, the word, it... Uh, stuck and really the rest is history and we have what we have today although we don't have to go to the Chinese supermarket to buy nail varnishes there are an awful lot of materials available now to tie perdigons. This tying in the vice is practically what everybody will tie in terms of a gasolina but it's not quite the same as the original and that's what I'm going to tie today. The original um, is very, very similar. Similar materials required. Uh, here I've put in uh, a 14 light nymph hook with a 3.3 copper bead. The other materials will be black thread. This happens to be an 8.0. Medium pardo coq de lion for the tail. And the tinsel I'm going to use is a hens 233. This happens to be a pearl scud back. Now when you're tying this you have to pull out one strand. Don't stretch it otherwise you'll change the colour profile and that's not what you want. So let's uh, set the bead or a copper bead. Perdigons are fairly simple to tie and it's, it's difficult to tie a bad, a bad Perdigon and as far as I have noticed most uh, trout are not worried about the actual tying as much as the colour and how it's presented. There I've set, uh, set the bead. Now I'm going to put in the Coq de Lyon tail. Now when you're tying uh, these perdigons, you don't need the tail to be too long. Certainly not longer than the shank of the hook and a little bit shorter if possible. Just tie that in. That looks a little bit long, so shorten it up. Okay, 
Now I'm going to tie in the gasolina tinsel. Now this does have two sides and it can sometimes be a bit tricky to get the, uh, the right side on. One side is definitely greener than the other. I'll trim off this excess. And now I'm going to build up that perdigon shape that everybody knows, the carrot shape. I mean, I personally don't like my perdigons too fat. Uh, I find that they go through quicker in the water column if they haven't got as much volume. It seems to me the more volume they have, the slower they are going through the water to the bottom. And that's where the fish are, and that's where you want your fly to be. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit of super glue on the top there to uh, hold the tinsel in place. Now, as I said, the difference between the tinsel, uh, the perdigon that was tied before, I'll make sure I get this around the right way. Is that it was closed spirals whereas the original had open spirals. Very simple tying. And that is it. Right, I'm going to UV this um, with some varnish and I use the clear finish thin from uh, Loon. It's easy to use, it's very pliable. You don't end up with uh, a big thick fly and as I said I like my perdigons a little bit on the skinny side. Just give that a zap. And the thing about this uh, thin UV is that uh, if you want to put a second coat on, you can do, which I'm going to do, and it doesn't uh, doesn't make it so thick and clumpy, but it does give it that little bit of extra protection. There, and that's basically the fly finished. Something similar to the original Perdigon, which most people don't see these days. It's equally as effective, probably, possibly more effective. Um, but that's the original Perdigon, and the tying of the original one against what is usually used can be seen. I hope you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you would like to see more videos of this nature. Bye.